I'm Amy from Doodle Dog Designs and today I'm going to show you how to make an antique looking picture on canvas. Let's get started. To complete this project you're going to need a canvas, a paintbrush, and some gel medium. I'm using this matte gel acrylic medium that I got at Hobby Lobby. You will also need a sponge and you will need a printout of the picture you want to transfer. You want to print the picture on an inkjet printer using regular printer paper. I got this canvas at Dollar Tree and it has the canvas wrapped around on the sides. So to determine how big I want the printed picture, I need to measure from one side all the way around to the other side because I want the picture to wrap around the edge when I'm finished. So I'm going to measure, start here, measure over to here, and it's right at six inches. And then measure here, and it's right at eight. So I want my printed picture to be six inches by eight inches. I've chosen an image that is on wpclipart.com. All of their images are in the public domain. I've chosen this sheep and duck painting. And so I have copied it and I've imported it into my word processing document. I'm on a Mac, so it's pages. You could do the same thing in Microsoft Word or another word processing program. So once it's in the word processing program, I want to make it the size that I need it. So it, I need mine to be six inches by eight inches. It looks like to keep the proportions right on this one, I'm going to have to cut a little bit off on the sides, but that's okay. I'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger than what I need it, so I have some extra to work with. Now I'm going to print this. Now I have my painting printed out, and the painting will reverse when you transfer it to the canvas. So if you want it to be going a particular direction or if it has letters or writing on it, you will want to reverse the painting before you print it. I'm going to place my canvas over my printed picture to determine how I'm going to want to place it. I'm going to make sure that I leave enough picture on all sides for my wrap around. When you wrap, you'll have this piece here in a corner that doesn't go anywhere. So I find it easiest to just go ahead and cut that out now and that way I know where I want to place the picture on the canvas when it's time. And I'm not going to do it straight across. I'm going to do it a little bit so I have some extra to wrap around. But I'm drawing my lines not straight up and down from here, but a little angled a little in, and not straight this way, but angled a little bit in. And then I'm going to cut those out. You can skip this step, but I find it makes it placement of the picture a lot easier because once they, you get the gel medium on the canvas, you can't rearrange the picture. Once you place it down, it'll be stuck there. See how that fits. That's going to be just fine. So the next step is to take the gel medium and apply it to the canvas. If you notice the canvas has a lot of dips and grooves in it and you want to make sure that you get the gel medium in all of those grooves 
so that it's completely covered. So I want to brush both directions to make sure that all those holes are filled. And I'm going to do the same thing on the edges. Now if you didn't want to wrap your canvas around the edges, you could paint the edges before you do the transfer. So make sure my hands are clean and put the ink side of the picture down onto the canvas. And then smooth it out. Fold the edges over. Just keep smoothing until you get all of the bubbles out. Make sure that the paper is attached. It's, make sure the paper is stuck down to the canvas. Once you get that complete, you want to set it aside and let it dry overnight. After it is completely dry, you want to take a sponge that has some water in it and you want to start getting the paper wet with the sponge. And once you have the paper entirely wet, you're going to start peeling off the paper and leaving the ink behind. If you use a really thick piece of paper, printer paper, it's going to be a little bit harder to get it off than if you use a thin piece of paper. And it should just peel right off. And you see here it's peeled off some of the ink in a few places, but I want this to look old and antique, so that's perfect.
once you think you've got all the paper off, you can let it dry and as it dries, the paper will leave a, any lingering paper will leave a cloudy looking area and you can go back and clean that off by wetting it and rubbing on it a little bit more. The canvas is completely dry now. I really like how the ink looks faded and it's got some worn spots in different places, but I think I'd like it to have a little bit more of an antique look, so I'm going to add some Min Wax finishing wax in a special dark, and I'm going to apply that using the instructions on the can. So I'm going to just gently rub this onto the canvas everywhere. Then I'm going to use a soft cloth to buff it off. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to click the like button and subscribe below. I'll see you next time. Bye.